Hey, I'm Anjali, and I watch a lot of TV. I'm hosting a television review podcast called Anjali Vision, and it'll air every other week through the Trident Network. I'll have interesting guests each episode to answer important questions like, how quickly would you resort to cannibalism in different post-apocalyptic TV show scenarios? And who's the best daddy on TV right now? If they have to paint sets for detention, they could do it tonight, not during my practice. If these were theater performers instead of athletes, would you seek special treatment? Tarbus, we are days away from our biggest game of the year. And we, Bolton, are in the midst of our auditions for our winter musicale as well. This school is about more than just young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for touchdowns. Baskets. They shoot baskets. Stop! Guys, listen. You've been having this argument since the day you both started teaching here. We are one school, one student body, one faculty. Can we not agree on that? So, Coach, how's the team looking? Troy got him whipped into shape. <sighs> <laughs> Hey, Val. Hey, Al. Hey, Felicia. Hey. Welcome to D-Commentaries. Thank you. Welcome to you. Welcome to our listeners. And welcome to our special guest, Felicia. Yay! Yes. We love you, Felicia. Hello. I love you. I'm so excited. I am honored to be here. We are We're so, so excited. excited to have you. We almost Felicia. said it at the same time as excited we were. <laughs> We're in such... Firm agreement about how excited we are. <laughs> Felicia, why don't you introduce yourself a little? Hi, I'm Felicia McLeod. Um, I feel like I can say I'm from Chicago now since I've been here. Yes. For about yeah. 12 years, but I'm from Wisconsin. I'm an improviser, actor, voiceover actor, if you can hear it in my voice. Um, oh, yeah. And I also started reading tarot cards. Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah. And when That's I say awesome. started, it was during COVID, but I feel like COVID is either a day away or... Three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Still feels like yesterday. (laughs) Totally. Well, that is very cool. You'll have to give us both readings. (gasps) Yes. (gasps) But I have to get like a Disney card. (gasps) Does that exist? (laughs) I'm going to find it. We need to make it happen. (laughs) The high school musical deck. (gasps) Okay. Now I have some homework to do. Ten of basketballs. You got to get your head in the game. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, all right. Well, if you ha- couldn't tell yet, we are talking about high school musical today. Yes. We're all in this <laughs> together. together. And it's just <laughs> when we stand hand in hand. In A beautiful actually, song. Oh, it I, really is. Y- y'all, I love this song. <laughs> I'm going to actually cry during this. Oh. <laughs> As we oh, should. Okay. It, it's okay. funny because it, I ha, I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie that we're watching prior mm-hmm. to watching it yeah. for this show. And I had such distinct like flashbacks to watching this movie the first time throughout. <laughs> it was such a fun experience that I missed very much from like our early days of doing this podcast. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's so great. One. Yeah, because the last couple of fee that we've watched, we've never seen or never yeah. heard of. Um, right. Ooh, so it's yeah. been nice to watch a like a nostalgia inducing one. That's yes. really nice. For sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's get through the business real quick so we can get to the fun. Hey, uh, okay. your business is fun. Oh, thanks, Al. You're welcome, Val. <laughs> Either way, here is the business. <laughs> High School Musical came out January 20th, 2006. So it was the first release Mm. of 2006. It was directed by Kenny Ortega. Now, he started off as a music video director. He did a bunch of uh, music videos early in his career. Then he did Newsies. Oh. Hocus Pocus. Wow. And in the future, he will also do Cheetah Girls 2, 
the other high school musicals and Descendants 1 through 3, which are also musicals. Yeah. Which makes sense. Did he choreograph Camp Rock? Oh, I don't know, because I was only looking at his director credits. Okay. Let us see. Let us. So he is a choreographer. He was the choreographer on all of the movies that I already listed, as well as the director. But he did not do Camp Rock. Okay. He did chore. He was the choreographer on all three high school musicals and all three descendants, as well as the other movies like Hoax Focus and Newsies. Okay. And he was the choreographer on the music videos as well. Okay. So he that's probably where he got his start. And then he kind of like transitioned. Into yeah. Also I remember seeing him on the Disney Channel commercials where they would like interview him. Oh, cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. Very neat. Yeah. He. I mean, he did a great job with this. Clearly, like and Hocus Pocus. I mean. All of these movies, at so least good. ones I've seen, are great. Yeah. So he's a good director and a good choreographer. Um, okay, this movie was written by Peter Barsocini, maybe Barsocini, depends on his preference, probably. He really, like, as far as, like, things I recognized, he and he doesn't have a ton of stuff anyway, but he basically just wrote all three High School Musicals and then some episodes of High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> So he's a high school musical guy through and through. He said, this is my medium and I'm taking oh, it. Oh, which this is the this is the breaking <laughs> news. The newest season of High School Musical, the musical, the series is going to be the final season. Whoa. Wow. How many the, seasons are there? It will be four. The fourth season okay. will be the final season. Mm, you they know graduated. What? Yeah. Good on them for not taking it too far. Right. Like, I agree. Love a show that knows when to end, <laughs> yeah. like Ted Lasso just did. Ted Lasso, good Succession, job. so good. Grey's yes, Anatomy. Yes. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> they are so good at knowing. <laughs> They're really good at knowing when to end. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to this cast. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a long one. I tried to pare it down, but there are a lot of important people in this movie. Uh, Zach Efron played Troy Bolton. Yeah. Yes. Uh, He's probably had the most like traditional career after being in this movie. So aside from being in High School Musicals one through three, he was in 17 again, New Year's Eve, The Lucky One, Neighbors, Baywatch, The Greatest Showman. And most recently, he's been on a show that he is the like star of or whatever called Down to Earth with Zac Efron, which kind of feels a little bit like it's not I don't think it's explicitly a food show, but for some reason it makes me think of that Anthony Bourdain show. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely the vibe. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. um, which is great. And that's not even his full resume. That's just some of the highlights. Like, he's done a lot. He did a lot of, like, rom-coms, yeah. like, early in his career. Um, and, you know, like, he's he's really jacked and handsome. So, like, he's played off of that, like, in things like Neighbors and Baywatch. Like, he's mm. having fun with it. He's not, like, a jerk about it. He's just like, yeah. I heard that he's nice and, like, down to earth. And that's really nice to hear. That's we love- really great to hear. yeah. I That's read really that idea. he got veneers. Wow. That makes sense because his uh-huh. teeth in this movie are not his teeth currently. Yes. Oh. And I know a lot of celebrities do. Like this is do. this is a normal thing for celebrities. Um, mm-hmm. And if you want to change something about your appearance to make you feel better about yourself, I am all I'm for it. I am. Mm-hmm. Yes. You you are in charge of your body. So if you want to change something. I am for it. And I think that um, veneers help the confidence of so many actors. Yes. And not it's not a minimal thing, but in like a minimal way, as opposed to mm-hmm. like, right, like full a, a, fa- like a full face, yeah. Change, yeah, full, you know, yeah. plastic surgery. It can so. make a big difference yeah. for someone's appearance and their confidence yeah. for yeah. Sure. a f- surgically minimal yeah. uh, change. Yeah. Um, okay. Vanessa Hudgens uh, played Gabriella wow. Montez. Yes, she did. Mm-hmm. Um, She was also in all three high school musicals, which is basically true for every single person in this cast. So I won't keep repeating it. Okay. And she is a singer. So she's been in a lot of music videos. There's a lot of music videos on her resume. Mm -hmm. She was also in the movie Sucker Punch, Spring Breakers, Gimme Shelter, Powerless, The Princess Switches 1 through 3. Yes. The yes, Night, spelled K-N-I-G-H-T, before That was Christmas. such a good movie. Mm-hmm. It's so good. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Um, and most recently, or at least one of the most recent things she did was Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah. Which was great. She is such Ooh. a good actress. She really is. 
And she kind of, to me, flies a little under the radar. Yeah. So I'm glad she's had a good career and she's been able to do some of these like mm-hmm. hallmarky things because like they're lucrative and they're fun. And yeah, like, she's the last good in couple them. years. She's been doing red carpet interviews. Oh, Ooh. so she's on like she was there. She was at, I believe, the Met Gala and the Oscars. Oh, and she's cool. such a good interviewer. I what mean, a cool she's gig. Yeah. charismatic. Yeah. She's kind. Um, Yeah, she's really great. We love Vanessa Hudgens. That's great. Yeah. Good for you, Vanessa. That's awesome. Uh, Ashley Tisdale played Sharpay Evans. Wow. <laughs> Sharpay. Where do they get this name from? <laughs> Incredible. Hey, I, um, I need I need someone uh can someone pass me a marker? A shopping. It's also a dog breed, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, maybe that's why. That's so yeah, funny. it's definitely not my joke. <laughs> but I love your joke. Thanks, I pal. do. Um other than high school musicals, she was in the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Um, also a lot of music videos. She's also one of the voice actors on Phineas and Ferb. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's actually done a lot of voice acting. Um, I didn't write them all down, but one of the other ones she's done a lot of episodes of is Skylanders Academy. Um, and more recently she was in the show Carol's second act. Oh, so she's, you know, she's doing stuff. She's been working. Cool. Uh, she also Lucas- started, sorry to interrupt one more second. She also started like- her own like skincare, um, like body line at Target. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. cool Good for her. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lucas Grabiel played Ryan Evans, her brother. Wow. <laughs> um, he, we, you might recognize him from Halloween Town High. Uh, and he will also be in Return to Halloween Town. Mm. Um, and besides High School Musicals one through three, and also a bunch of music videos, uh, he was in Milk, Switched at Birth. I could not wait he- for you to say Switched at Birth. I loved that <laughs> show so much. So when I saw him, I was like, okay, brother from Switched at Birth. Uh-huh. <laughs> he plays a brother. He knows how to do it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. He's a good brother. He's a good brother. Um, he also does a lot of voice acting. He's done, a, among other things, a bunch of episodes of Family Guy. How cool. And he was, a, he's been in a few episodes of High School Musical, the musical, the series mm-hmm. as well. He was also just in Chicago last week. Wow. I didn't know that. For- uh, yeah, they did a, at Hi- uh, House of Blues, they did a bop to the top DJ. Uh- so it was like kind of like okay. high school musical dj and i want everyone to know had i known it was a thing i would have been there um, <laughs> but i didn't know it was a thing until i looked at his instagram this morning <laughs> that is so funny i mean good for him and yeah. for any of them who is still capitalizing on this oh like, for sure that's great um corbin blue played yeah! chad danforth uh chad. aside from high school musicals he was in the decom jump in yep which we have not done yet but mm-hmm. will um, he was also in a bunch of music videos because he is also a singer and he was on a show called Flight 29 Down, which I had never heard of before in my life. Mm. Um, he's done a bunch of episodes on One Life to Live. So oh. he's a soap baby. And he has also been in at least one episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Yes. I think he has yes. a he's they actually like call him Corbin Blue in the show. They're like, oh, my God, Corbin Blue is coming. That's so <laughs> it's funny. Really funny. <laughs> Amazing. And also fun fact about him. Uh, there are so many fun facts, by the way. So we'll get to that in a second. Yes. But um, fun fact about him. He was actually 17 when they filmed this. And he was like the only one who was actually like high school age. <laughs> so he was the youngest one. He was the youngest one. And um, then our next person, Monique Coleman, was the oldest at 25. Wow. Yes. Wild. And you could. Yeah. <laughs> I was like all these when I was looking at all these people in high school, I was like, all these people are grown. All of you are adults. <laughs> True. Although I was I noticed. So like now Zach Efron is like jacked. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think it really like worked for him to be so skinny at the time because he's not a tall person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's supposed to be this like star basketball player so like he looked taller than he was because he was so (laughs) scrawny Mm -hmm. (laughs) so like worked in his favor for this anyway getting back to monique uh monique coleman played taylor mckessie 
Um, she was in all three High School Musicals, uh, as well as at least an episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she has done a lot of horror stuff. Oh, no. Um, <gasps> That's exciting. Yeah, nothing that like stood out to me. Like I didn't like recognize, although I'm not a big horror fan. So it's very possible that some of it was, you know, well known and I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> But yeah, that seemed to be like her lane. Um, an interesting thing that I read about this was she didn't think she was going to get the role because she at the time had her hair done that looked a lot like Corbin's hair. So she was like, there's no way they're going to cast both of us oh if we look gosh. like brother and sister because <laughs> um, they're supposed to be love interests in the movie, which I thought was very funny. And so obviously, like they did cast her, but they slept on a wig her hair. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> Um, okay. Bart Johnson played Jack Bolton. I can't believe that there is someone in the world whose name is actually Bart. <laughs> same. Absolutely. I feel the same. Uh, it just sounds too much like fart. Like, oh my God. <laughs> um, okay. So other than being in all three high school musicals, um, he's a character actor. So a lot of the adults in this movie are just straight up character actors. They have literally been in one episode of everything okay um and that applies to him as well he has also been in at least one episode of high school musical the musical the series mm -hmm. and he is huge on tiktok <laughs> oh really oh. he has capitalized on his like tiktok fame um, wow! and he does a lot of interviews. He does a lot of like behind the scenes stuff. He does like all of the trends. I mean, TikTok lives, laughs, loves this man. I am also on this TikTok train of loving Bart Johnson. Um, <laughs> but it is just, it's really cool to see him like take, like he is the one person from this movie who is like smack dab in the high school musical TikTok. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is wild. so cool. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. He's going to look him up. It just dawned on me that that was coach daddy. Coach yes, daddy. Coach daddy. Oh. Hot dad. Cool dad. Yes. Hot, Hot dad, dad cool like dad. mildly cool. And yeah, then gets like cooler. gets cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Gets yes. cooler when he starts to learn a lesson. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 For sure. Then we've got Alicia Rulin mm -hmm. playing Kelsey Nielsen. Um, the composer yeah, slash shot caller. She was also in Hounded, Poof Point, and Halloween Town High, movies we've already seen. And after being in all three high school musicals, she went on to be on the show Greek and is now on NCIS LA. Ooh. So she's doing well. Yeah. I'm also looking at her Instagram. She has a little baby. Oh, <gasps> Just a little baby. So cute. She's got a little baby in great skin. Mm, wow. Does she have a skincare line too? I don't know. <laughs> she should. Oh, she's using Vanessa's. Yeah. Is she's using Vanessa. Or she's using Ashley's. <laughs> Ashley's. Ashley's. <Oops>. Yeah. <laughs> but Vanessa should. But yeah, okay, everyone from High School Musical <laughs> needs to have their own skincare line. <laughs> okay, then we've got Allison Reed playing Miss Darbus, mm -hmm. uh, Bless the her. theater director incredible um her first credit is in a chorus line which i thought was so perfect oh. she is a character actor she's been in like so many things all of the things um one thing that stood out to me was she was on several episodes of ghost writer do you remember that show i from loved the 90s? ghost writer me wow. too i loved that show and i was like that's so cool that she was on that i need to like find those old episodes i wonder watch them. it has to be somewhere yeah <laughs> it's probably on like prime or something mm. I don't know. i'll find it i'll find it um, and she more recently was in the movie Ad Astra, that weird movie with uh, Brad oh, Pitt. Oh, interesting. Where he's, like in space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then she's also been in at least one episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Uh, then we have Chris Warren as Zeke Baylor. Yeah. The baking basketball player. He was in Love and Basketball and Men of Honor as a as a young man, younger man oh. before this. Uh, Love and Basketball is one of my favorite movies. So good. Ever. Is it? Uh, so it's, mm. yeah. Wow. It's up there for sure. Cool. I've probably watched that movie at least 30 times. Cool. I, like <laughs> I don't know if I've ever it's seen so it all good. the way through. It's such uh, a beautiful little story. It's great. The last scene always makes me cry oh. so much. <laughs> Play for your heart. <laughs> it's so good. Ugh. Um, and then uh, he's also done some soaps. He's in The Bold and the Beautiful. Cool. And then more recently, he was on a show called Sistas. 
That's which a Tyler like. Perry show. <laughs> Is it? Okay, there not you go. Not good, yeah. Not good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not good. But it's like, it's Tyler Perry's writing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Just no. get somebody else in the writer's room. What are you doing? <laughs> never. He'll never do that. <laughs> <laughs> but good for him for working. So, yeah. I love to know. see. Get that bag. Yeah. Right. And I like him in this. Oh, I my like gosh. He's just so lot. cute in this movie. I know. Yes. Also, was anyone else picking up the shipping of him and Ryan or was I the only one? I who... noticed that at the end. OK. I did notice that. OK. <gasps> we'll talk about that. Later. OK. <laughs> now I have to rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. Um, OK. Then we have Joey Miyashima as the principal, uh, Principal Metsui. He has been working for like his whole life um he like early in his career did karate kid 2 mm. um but he's a character actor he's literally been in one episode of everything that's dope. um yeah he was also in other decoms he was in double teamed and right on track which we've both watched both of those already mm -hmm. and then a couple honorable mentions because they're in other decoms so we've got uh joyce cohen as miss falstaff i don't even know who that is but she's also in Read it she and is the librarian got it mm. then we have Anne Catherine Parma as Susan. Um, she was in Go Figure. Uh, Nick Whitaker as Alan. Uh, he is going to be in both Read It and Weep and Hatching Pete. Mm -hmm. And finally, Falcon Grace as Syndra. And she was also in Pixel Perfect. I oh. loved Syndra. I had that written down. I said, she better sing. She better sing opera. <laughs> she was so upset. <laughs> she was. The The theater teacher should have been like, there's another medium for you. You should yes. really do this. Totally. Instead, she's like, no, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> she's You're never going to be other good favorite enough. Lives. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's the main cast. The synopsis is as follows. It's a little bit long and I have not read it ever. So here we go. <laughs> Troy Bolton, the star athlete at a small town high school, falls for nerdy beauty Gabriela Montez mm. at a holiday karaoke party. When they return to campus, Troy and Gabriela audition for the upcoming school musical. Meanwhile, the jealous Sharpay Evans conspires to squelch their chances. The two must struggle to make it to auditions while also meeting their existing obligations to the basketball team and the academic decathlon. It's like half right. Yeah, I feel like that kind of skips a lot of the most important <laughs> yeah. most important elements of, of what's going on. But yeah. Sure. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we've got a lot of fun facts, so I'll try and get through them quickly. Drew Seeley sang for Zach Efron in this movie. Zach Efron did not sing his own his own songs. Yeah, so we could tell. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a lot of like other people auditioning for other parts and then getting different parts. So for example, Ashley Tisdale auditioned for Gabriella. And then got cast as Sharpay. Similarly, Lucas originally auditioned for Troy. And Corbin was going to audition for Ryan. And then he saw Lucas's audition. He was like, no, he's right for it. So then he <laughs> went for Chad. Um, so there was a lot of like shuffling going on. Then we've got, uh, this is really funny to me. High School Musical was the working title. And the only reason it became the actual title of the movie is just because they ran out of time uh, and they didn't come up with a better title. <laughs> and it's like the most iconic decom ever. Are <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> but it's so perfect. It's like, perfect. Yeah. Thank God they didn't come up with a different name. Because right. it's like, it's perfect. It cracks me up. That, that was like my favorite. That's amazing. By yeah. So at the time... It was Disney Channel's most successful movie with 7.7 .7 million viewers on the premiere broadcast. That was me. Then, <laughs> che then Cheetah Girls like immediately broke the, that record. Cheetah, Cheetah Girls, Girls too. too. Broke that record with 8.3 million viewers wow. on its premiere, which was I think it was literally the next. Oh, no, no, no. It was two movies after. Mm -hmm. Then High School Musical 2 broke the record and still holds the record at 17.2 million viewers. That was also night. me. That's I remember watching that with my friend, <laughs> Jessica, shout out to Jess in my house. And we, I'm so excited to talk about high school musical too. <laughs> but I remember Save it for that. sitting and watching. <laughs> um, these fun facts are so cool. So this movie is, is a rewrite of a 1999 script for Grease 3. Wow. Which was meant to star Justin Timberlake 
and Britney Spears in the two title characters. And like Christina Aguilera was going to be in it. Like all of the people who were like famous in that, you know, moment were going to be like the leads in this movie. And it just got put in a drawer somewhere. And then they like resurrected it and kind of rewrote it and actually made it even more like Grease One. Yeah. And it became this movie. Which wow. I just think is That's so funny. wild. Yeah. I mean, would have loved to seen that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I'm glad we got But this. I'm glad this yeah. is what came. Yeah. Yes. And there's an alternate timeline somewhere where they made that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a different name. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, this I couldn't believe. So they filmed at a real high school, which I think is pretty evident. Mm-hmm. But it was challenging because they were filming while class was in session. No. What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> How? Who signed off on that? <laughs> like, feels like a budget thing. Like, they literally couldn't afford to just like <laughs> wait till summer, move the students somewhere else or something. I don't know. It's wild. If I was a principal, I would do that too. I'd be like, of course you can use our gymnasium. Of course you can give us four million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shove all the students in one class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. The soundtrack was the best-selling album of two thousand six. Yep. So. I was looking up all of the music in this movie and uh, Breaking Free and Get Your Head in the Game were nominated for a primetime Emmy Award in 2006. And both of them lost to a mad TV parody song (laughs) of Snow White walking around the streets of L.A. Wait, I think I know what song that is. It has, <laughs> like, I think I've seen it has that, Ike Barinholtz. It has Keegan Michael Key. Yeah, like, it yeah. is, and that is the song that won. Um, I would have, I would have awarded them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when so adults funny. are voting, they're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna vote for right. this." You know, <laughs> I'm gonna like, vote what for is Matt High TV. School Musical? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I actually didn't even watch High School Musical because I'm, you know, 48. You know? <laughs> so. <laughs> um, okay, so Cassie Steele, who was in. Um, full court miracle, the Hanukkah movie, yes, um, slash basketball movie, um, was originally cast for Gabriella, but she had a filming conflict because she was in Degrassi, the next generation, and so they had to find someone else. Wow! Again, there's an alternate timeline where Cass- Cassie Steele was in this movie instead of Vanessa Hudgens. That's um, and huge. Then f- I know. And then finally, Lucas and Ashley did not like each other. During this movie, Mm -hmm. they eventually became friends. But during the filming of this movie, they did not get along at all. Wow. Yeah. I remember hearing that. Mm hmm. Which honestly, I I imagine probably actually helped their performance because they're like they're meant to be close, but they're also meant to be like extremely competitive with each other. And the trope is like constantly mistreating Ryan, which like. It makes like it works yeah. that there was some kind of animosity between them. Mm-hmm. So I think that makes sense. Okay, business done. Finally, wow. three hours lots later. of business for <laughs> big for business. The, big business <laughs> for a big movie. <laughs> All right, Felicia. Yes, we haven't addressed it yet, so I'm going to ask you the question: <laughs> Have you seen this movie before? And if so. What were your first impressions when you first watched it? And then what were your first impressions watching it now? I had not seen this movie before. This is the first time I have watched High School Musical. But I did a show back in 2016 where um, it was at Under the Gun Theater and everyone had to do uh, like a song. Uh Um, So I know all the choreography to get your head in the game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I watched you do that. I was in that show too. Yeah. <laughs> and at that point had never seen high school musical. Wow. Um incredible. But I got to like circle work on me. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> um so at first when I was watching it, I was like, oh no. Well it's, I took an edible too. So I was like, uh <laughs> I was like, this edible will hit halfway through the movie. But then I got up and I washed the dishes and I did laundry. And then I sat down to watch it. And then I was like, oh, no, the edible is here. It's in the room (laughs) with me. And I I don't want to start the movie like this, but I watched anyways. And at first I was like not feeling it. By the time we got to we're all in this together, (laughs) why was I like nearly crying? And I was like, (laughs) so this movie won me over. It's because like they had overcome they. They had overcome their own little things to realize that we all need each other and we're all different. And I thought that was beautiful. 
It is beautiful. <laughs> Al. Thanks, First Al. impressions. Um, I love this movie. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I think... Okay, uh, those of you who listen to us consistently know that Val and I are directing an improvised decom show. And I think that this movie is the quintessential breakdown of a decom. If you want to watch the, 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 I'm going to say it like perfect story arc of a mm. decom with the tucking your hair behind your ear aspect in every <laughs> line. It is, it is a perfectly. Exa- it's a perfect example. Of it's a movie. perfect, it is a perfect example of a decom. Um, I love the music. I love the characters. I had so much fun. I mean, I've rewatched this on my own, like over the last since 2006. Um, It's interesting watching it through the eyes of more of like a critic, because I in the very beginning, that very first scene feels so 2006 decom. And then it turns into something else where you're like, oh, my gosh, this is actually like (laughs) trans transformative for um, Mm -hmm. 2006 eighth grade Al. (laughs) <laughs> um <laughs> but i just think that it is so well cast it is so fun mm-hmm. um the lesson the the people um oh my gosh i just love this movie i haven't even said my ranking yet i'm giving this a 9.25 whoa i'm giving this a 9.25 because there is a another movie that's gonna come out pretty soon <laughs> after this one that i'm gonna <laughs> like a little bit more <laughs> I can't rank it too high. <laughs> and yes, I I love it so much. Val, first impressions. Thanks, Al. So as I mentioned earlier, I had seen this movie, which was the first example of that in a, lo- in a while. And I really enjoyed the rewatch. I think that it brought up a lot of nostalgia from the first time I watched it. And also like a lot of fun things that I'd completely forgotten about. I think the message is great. Mm. I think the music is great. I love, I think I this time appreciated the adults a lot more in this movie. I think they're wonderful and funny. Um, Even the ones that aren't in it very much, like still do are doing fun stuff and having fun in this movie. (laughs) Um, Yeah. I just, I think it's like, it's such a cool movie and it's kind of like the decom. I would say it's the decom equivalent of frozen. And what I mean by that is like these movie or these songs from this movie like captured a generation like I remember because I was a camp counselor at the time and when this came out and like that summer everything was high school musical like yeah. all we were listening to was the <laughs> songs from high school musical we literally put on high school musical as the musical that summer <laughs> at camp like they were obsessed with this movie and like it just had this hold on like an entire generation and I get it like it's it's fun and it is very like formulaic but in the best way like it just works like it just get you know it's just fun and easy to watch and I like that it's kind of an homage to Greece but like removes all the toxic parts of Greece Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) um yeah I think it's great and it's a musical so it's allowed to be kind of silly and not make sense Mm -hmm. so that's also great because they like earn that love 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 Love, also I saw so many outfits that I wore Mm-hmm. And that made me smile. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, so fun. Okay, Felicia. Yes. Did you have any favorite quotes or moments in this movie? <laughs> There's only one word that I wrote down that made me laugh <laughs> for a long time. Let's hear it. And that word was Einsteinette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard Einsteinette, I rewound because I said, "What did he say?" <laughs> And then I heard it three more times and I wrote it down and I said, this, this is good. Yeah, (laughs) this is it. (laughs) This is it. That's incredible. Wow. Do you have any favorite moments or all of them moments are your favorite moments? Honestly, they all are. I think daddy coach really sat with me Mm -hmm. because when he was mad at, um, Gabby for talking to Troy when he was supposed to be practicing basketball Mm -hmm. and being like, get out of the gym. 
I was like, not this grown man yelling at a young girl. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't know how to communicate. Um, but then he grew. And I think that that sat he with me in a beautiful way. He grew that day. <laughs> <laughs> he grew. And I was proud of him. Wow. What else That's did I true. write? And then Syndra. I was just really disappointed in the theater teacher being like, I don't want to hear this instead of being like encouraging. But maybe mm-hmm. that'll be how she starts her opera career. So I'll just like. That's true. Yeah, that's how her is her village her. villain origin story. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Ooh. So true. So true. Uh, Al, what about you? Favorite quotes or moments? Thanks, Val. Uh, I have a few favorite quotes and two favorite moments. So I'm going to start with. Um, uh, you sound like you do a lot of singing, too. Yeah, my shower hat is very impressed with me. <laughs> Beautiful moment. <laughs> Beautiful moment. Um, as we enter, so uh, spoiler city or a little bit early, um, as Gabriella is coming into class for the first time, they're doing a lot mm. of like background talking. And uh, Troy is having a conversation with Jason. And Jason goes, you don't remember the night before? And Troy goes, no, all I remember is pink jelly. And it was like <laughs> such an underlying, but because I watched with subtitles, it was in the subtitles, I rewound it and was like, what? It was supposed to be such a... <laughs> It's a conversation you didn't hear, but those subtitles <laughs> picked it the F up. <laughs> Corbin Blue saying, you think LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal auditioned for their school musical? Mm. And they um, did. <laughs> and they did. Um, I also wrote down an Einsteinette. I wrote down uh, mostly, I love this because it be, was a TikTok trend, but um, where's my team, Darvis? What the heck are those two doing in a tree? <laughs> What the heck are those two doing in a tree? Daddy coach. <laughs> Daddy coach. In one of the songs, I love to pop and lock and jam and break. Is that even legal? <laughs> um, love she that. was a great dancer. Love her. She's she comes back in too. Oh, she is she's, she's awesome. really great. She definitely During the, like the credits, like after the main characters all leave, <laughs> she's just there, like just breaking it down. She's, she's such amazing. a good dancer. Do you ever feel like there's this whole other person just looking for a way to come out? Not really. No. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I have so many quotes. Um, We need to save our show from people who don't know the difference from a Tony award and Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. I wrote that one down Mm -hmm. too. And then Sharpay leans. She like hears them singing, turns around, leans against the door and goes, we have to do something. (laughs) (laughs) Now for my favorite, two favorite moments for my two favorite, two favorite moments. Taylor has a roller backpack. Uh huh. <laughs> Love her roller backpack. She is obsessed with her roller backpack. And then uh, my other favorite moment is in Bop to the Top. They do a lot of dancing, and you can clearly hear all of the footsteps that they're taking. And I just couldn't stop thinking of the person who works in sound editing who had two shoes on a floor and a microphone (laughs) just going (laughs) for hours for hours (laughs) my favorite moment um thank you for bearing with me through the entirety of uh, me basically doing a synopsis (laughs) Val do you have any favorite quotes or moments I do uh okay so early on in the movie at one point Taylor goes Behold the zoo animals heralding the new year. <laughs> How tribal. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great line. Yep. I just wrote music hell. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's, I just love She's so the way good. that Darbus says musical. Um, and it's spelled in the um, subtitles at like M U S I C A L E. Music hell. Cal. So, mm hmm. At one point, Troy, which I was like, why did he say this? But it queued up Corbin for a good line, which is uh, or Chad, whatever. Um, Sharpay's kind of cute, too. And Chad goes, so is a mountain lion, but you don't pet it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the line about Cinda. <clears throat> what courage to access a note that hasn't been heard in the natural world. <laughs> So good. So beautiful. At one point, someone called Kelsey uh, my sawed off Sondheim, which I just thought was amazing Um, because she's short and they make (laughs) a lot of short jokes about Kelsey. (laughs) 
where is your sports posse or whatever it's called? <laughs> sports posse. There's so many gems from Darbus. Oh, this, oh man. I think Kelsey says this. If a girl, if that girl could figure out a way to play both Romeo and Juliet, her own brother would be aced out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. It is. It's true. Um, at one point, I think Sharpay, someone says, evaporate tall person yep mm -hmm. ashley to <laughs> oh yeah does she say it's a zeke when he's like first offering mm -hmm. her a baked good or something uh, he loved her i know i think oh, really i love Ryan, him <laughs> <laughs> i think that is it for lines so i liked there were a couple homages to greece one is the whole solo song for gabriella is like straight up hopelessly devoted to yeah her. it's like the same moment like mm -hmm. down to like the her sort of melancholy wandering but around now and like <laughs> there's no to hide. hide yeah and then there's also a point where troy runs through a uh the car shop you know to get to somewhere else mm -hmm. and like there is no reason for him to have done that except for the fact that it's such an important part of greece i didn't even um, think about that so oh. I, th I thought that was like a cool little thing also at one point in i think it's bop to the top one of the songs that ryan and sharpay sing they say zip zaps up mm -hmm. and i just <gasps> clocked it just wanted to say it out loud <laughs> yeah <laughs> Shout Thank out to you. all the improvisers out there. <laughs> um, amazing. Okay. That is all I had for those. Anything else that we want to cover before we go to Spoiler City? No. Mm. Okay. okay. I ripped off my velour tracksuit and I am part of this. <laughs> I ripped off my basketball jersey. <laughs> Topless. <laughs> Felicia's not. I was like, I, was like, uh, I ripped off my jump on. shoes. Jump shoes. <laughs> jump is what I call Jim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> jump shoes. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> it's like musical. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Spoiler City. We uh, now typically I do an incredible job. I do a 100 out of 100 job every single time at this. But you do. because we have, thanks, Val. But because we have a wonderful guest today, Felicia, would you like <gasps> to do our synopsis today? I would. Please interject whenever you do, because it, it, it is just like four pages of bullet points. <laughs> Honestly, that's exactly what we love and exactly what mm -hmm. we need. All right. Whenever you're ready, Fee, go for it. Okay. Um, lights up. <laughs> It's New Year's Eve, and we're at a ski lodge. Gabby is introduced, and she's reading like she always does, and her mom, her mom reminds her that outside exists, and she needs to take a <laughs> part of it, a.k.a. the teen party. Mm -hmm. Then we get introduced to Troy. He's introduced playing basketball with his dad like he always does, and then mm -hmm. his mom, who did an amazing job coming <laughs> to remind him that the outside world exists. And we're just going to shout out to moms real quick. Mm -hmm. Then we get introduced to a kid's party and it's a spotlight karaoke, which I had not known existed and sounds like hell. It does. Um, <laughs> and Gabby and Troy, they're in the spotlight. So it's time for them to sing. Troy goes up and he's so vulnerable. He sings and then he attempts to walk off. Yeah. Because he did he think he didn't do a good job or did he think Gabby wouldn't do a good job? I'm unsure. <laughs> what that motivation know. was but then gabby starts to sing and he's shocked and he's like okay let's bring down the house no rehearsal then we have a romantic conversation by a tiny christmas tree new year's eve is introduced they count down the time and so is love then uh they exchange numbers on flip phones which really was nice to see i would like to see a flip phone <laughs> in a movie i meant um, to ask this question did you ever take a picture of someone you were exchanging that information with? That is wild. I okay, did. Okay, good. I'm glad you thought that was crazy, too. I was like, wait, did you this do this? Because I was already in college at this point. I was like, who does this? I didn't. I don't even think I was taking pictures on my phone, even if I did, because they were like pixelated in a weird way. Right. right. And you had like one megabyte of memory. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like no room. So the right. fact that he's like, oh, yeah picture and then save my number should it be something that we are doing i don't know mm. well, well i guess start. now it makes sense <laughs> now it makes sense but back then back no. then wild because how many mm. troys is she gonna meet you know at a right? ski lodge right they'd remember that's what anyway. i'm saying uh <laughs> so they exchange numbers on that flip phone 
And then Troy says that this is the best day of his vacation, which is really beautiful. But then I was like, he's at a ski lodge with his family. But what a lovely sentiment. Um, And then (laughs) Albuquerque, New Mexico is introduced. The Wildcats are everywhere. East High School is excited for their championship. And a brother and a sister duo, they show up, but they're not introduced by name. But you know they're going to be important. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh, Gabby's the new kid on the block. The theater teacher is introduced and steals the show. All the kids get detention for having their phones out, which... I would just say is their picture phone since they have so many pictures on them. (laughs) Um, And then I just thought for these bullet points, I was just going to write down once. Uh, (laughs) Troy's want is to hide that he sings, but he loves it. Gabby's Mm -hmm. wants is for him to show his voice. Sharpay wants to remind the world that she is the world. Um, The Wildcats want to win the championship and the Scholastic Decathlon wants Gabby to join so they can finally win. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, detention is introduced and it is mostly just creating a set for a play that's coming up and Troy's dad's surprise is basketball coach basketball daddy and he Mm -hmm. never stops being a basketball coach then we go into audition day and everyone is showing range and I think everyone did a beautiful job in their own way Mm -hmm. even though they might not have fit what they were going to be doing for whatever play that is Um, and finally we see Sharpay and Ryan and they've worked their whole lives for this moment and they show it. Mm-hmm. Troy and Gabby are kind to Kelsey and then they sing the way that she envisioned the song that Sharpay and Ryan should have been singing. And the teacher hears this and then they get a call back. And I love this moment because Troy and and this is when you said that uh, Zach Efron is known to be a nice person, like this is the moment that I think about because like He's so kind to Kelsey and yeah. no one's watching, right? But he's and just no so watching. sweet to her and he like builds her up and it's just very lovely. It was really good. Yeah, it's a great like character development moment, like w- but like you're they're not beating you over the head with it. He just like sort of does it naturally, which is sweet. Yeah. Ugh. This movie, who kn- I I had no idea it would capture my heart. Um, (laughs) uh, where are we um okay troy and gabby they're kind to kelsey and then she she, they sing the song the theater teacher hears it they get a call back the wildcats they're mad about the callbacks first and then they share their different wants and they don't want to stick to the status quo no i love that no um chad and taylor they come up with a master plan to split up gabby and troy and they're going to get Troy on video, bad mouthing, singing and Gabby and loving basketball. And it works. He did go kind of hard. So I understand that. In the synopsis, I wrote what was happening in the movie and then also how it made me feel. No, that's, <laughs> that's, what I, that's exactly that's what I do. That's literally, yeah, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> okay, then um, Troy and Gabby, they're obviously miserable, miserable without each other and also miserable without the callbacks. And Chad and Taylor realize that they have some fixing to do. So the Wildcats, they get their head in the game, but now they also get their hearts in the game. And they confess <laughs> their wrong do- doings. And the decathlon team, they realize that this equation didn't add up, and they admit their <laughs> errors. Uh, then we all have a sigh of relief because we say order is restored. But wait, Sharpay and Ryan have an evil plan. Mm-hmm. What if callbacks, state championship, and decathlon was all on the same day at the same time? Sharpay and Ryan, they do an over-the-top performance for callbacks. I think they did a great job, but seeing as I didn't like them, and we all didn't, um, they did too much for me. Mm-hmm. I like wrote down the thing where they do um, the like salsa, basically, mm-hmm. and, like in that moment. Like, yeah. I think it's such a smart call to have them like basically culturally appropriate on top of like, you know, yes. doing this number because they're already over the top. They're, they're absolutely like the villains and it's so like exactly what would happen like, yeah. that they would take this and do it so big and ridiculous <laughs> and not realize at all how stupid they look doing it. Wait until uh, High School Musical too. The way I said why <laughs> this was a choice. <laughs> it was a choice. It was a choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we go to the Wildcats. They're on the court and they're balling. Decathlon. 
They're doing equations and they're winning. It's game time. And when I say game time, I'm not talking about sports. I'm talking about <laughs> it's time for plans to be put into place. Mm -hmm. So we got our smart guys doing something to make the scoreboard malfunction. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. And then we have our Breaking Bad beakers in the room with some ingredients that would clear out a room via the smell. Yep. I believe mm -hmm. that was beautiful. Stink bomb, Stink bomb. <laughs> would have been e <laughs> easier for me to write, but I really wanted to make it poetic, you know? No, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> and then the theater waits for no one. So seeing as everybody who was doing the double performance were done and she called out Troy and Gabby's name and no one said anything, theater teacher said, that's it. Mm -hmm. But then Kelsey goes ahead and becomes the ser the serial killer. I meant to say the superhero. <laughs> <laughs> becomes a superhero and plays piano. But then what happened to everybody who was in the audience for the championship and decathlon? They came in to watch the callbacks. They sure did. Mm -hmm. And Gabby established that she didn't like people watching her from the beginning of the movie. So mm -hmm. this is a struggle for her that lasts for a couple of seconds. And then she <laughs> looks into Troy's eyes and she says, we got this. <laughs> they break free. Troy and Gabby bring down the house like they always do. Mm -hmm. Then after singing, Troy immediately goes and he wins the championship, which they do show. And then Gabby comes and she wins the decathlon, which they didn't show, which <laughs> I was like, I wonder what that's like. I would have watched that for three minutes to see what mm -hmm. that is. Yeah. Dreams should have no limitations. We're all in this together. And we felt it. We Credits really roll. <laughs> uh that was so perfect. <laughs> oh my God. I was what? this this movie beautiful. I mean beautiful. <laughs> what it great is. lessons. What like yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved that the championship was East High versus West High. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Also, I thought it was funny that that they made themselves East High when West High Wildcats was right there. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible synopsis. This movie is great. And just so many fun moments. The end with the, you know, choreographed number with everyone dancing is <sighs> just so iconic. It's gorgeous. And there's even a post credit scene, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is just like, wow, <laughs> they really went for it. But there is a moment, which we've sort of alluded to a couple times, where Zeke has been hitting on Sharpay the entire movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then he tries to give her cookies because his whole thing is that he secretly loved baking. And then he admitted it when everyone started feeling emboldened to share their secret ha uh, hobbies and stuff. And Sharpay blows him off again. And then Ryan so sweetly comes up to him and is like, I'll take them. I bet they're great or something like that. And it's like the sweetest so moment. Cute. And I was like, oh. They're so cute. And then, of course, they undermine that. Yeah. The, for know, the next three moment. movies. Yeah. <laughs> but in my heart and in my uh, headcanon, they were they were in a relationship. Yeah. In the fan fiction I'm going to write, they are yes. together. Yeah. That's correct. I'll, that also, correct. in that final basketball scene, too, Kelsey's ch Kelsey is changed from her piano attire and is wearing right. this cute outfit, but is still wearing her bowler hat. And, <laughs> right. and her and Jason have this moment where he takes off her bowler hat. Very, uh, um, she's all that. Is that the movie I'm looking oh, for? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like you take off the glasses and the nerd is finally like. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, once Kelsey takes off her bowler hat. <laughs> <she's> gorgeous. <laughs> this is so funny. So uh, silly. Such a good movie. So worth a, a rewatch. Shall we play some bingo? We shall bing. We, we shall go. bing, 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 bing to the ting, bing and bing and bong, bong, bing, bong. <laughs> Fee, I'm really glad you did the synopsis today because every time we would have gotten to a song, I probably would have just sung the whole song. <laughs> so that saved us a lot of time. <laughs> and copyright. <infringement>. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, all right, let's let's begin. Uh, Fee, do you want to start with the top left corner? Yes. OK. Uh, one hit wonder song. So I'm I don't torn. think we can. I don't think we can count them yeah, because, because they were I all think like we charted songs and they're all from the same. Like, yeah. Artists, and then, and then right? there's another album, which also mm -hmm. has right. a charted song. And right. So. Yeah. So I don't all think right. so. I don't think so. Val. 
Uh, sure. Breaking the fourth wall or looking into the camera. I think dad did once. What? Well, in the beginning when he was like uh, talking to his wife about the basketball. Did we come here for basketball? He looked at the camera. I think it was a mistake. I don't think it was. Oh. <laughs> I saw a mistake too during Stick to the Status Quo with the kid who plays the cello. Uh oh. All right. We're counting it. <laughs> All right. We counted it last week for cowbells. Yeah. And AJ it was an accidental. The camera was so close. So it was yeah. like <laughs> holiday themed. No. New Year's no. Eve. Well, it, <gasps> it had New Year's Eve in the it beginning. Was it New Year's Eve themed? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, spotlight karaoke is a New Year's thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think if he wants to give it, I'll take it. <laughs> wow. All right. Fee, you're the final decider. Is it New Year's Eve? No, it wasn't okay. a couple seconds. <laughs> That's okay. We tried. We tried. To all my holiday fans out there, we tried. A <laughs> uh, clunky metaphor. Oh, my God. This whole movie is yeah. a metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. It's a metaphor for Greece, which mm. is a metaphor for... <laughs> <laughs> It is the same metaphor as Greece, mm -hmm. which is breaking out of your like box that you can be more than one thing. Yeah. Tell me about it, Val. <laughs> uh, parents who just don't get it. Daddy. Of course. Daddy. Daddy coach. Daddy coach. And the moms. Daddy Bart. Yeah. Cool non-parent adult. Are we counting Darbus? I think she's cool. <laughs> I think she's cool. Too, I think she's watch. cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the winter musical. <laughs> Amazing. She's so uh, good. Someone too famous for a TV movie. I don't think yet. No. 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 Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They all became famous as a result of this movie. Yeah. Uh, competition to resolve the central problem. Two. Three. 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 The audition counts. Oh wow. Gosh. Wow. A triple threat. <laughs> wow. Wow. A montage sequence. Third oh, when they're be, prepping, right? when they're prepping for the callback, there's definitely yes. a montage of yes. them okay. like singing yeah. with Kelsey and stuff and like, you know, leaving uh, practice, leaving uh, decathlon practice and all that stuff. Yeah. But there's probably at least one more that I'm forgetting yeah right now. yeah yeah but for sure there is more than one uh cliche villain or villains i yeah i mean i think sharpay and ryan like fit that play bill. that part yeah, yeah i think so too yeah conniving uh clothes or items you owned so many so outfits. many layers <laughs> yes like at one point gabby's wearing a blue velour sweatsuit and like i i think i had that exact color Ooh, wow yeah. that's a good blue yeah i liked the powder blue color a lot i had um basketball yeah i also <laughs> had basketball <laughs> and i i wore number 14 which is troy's, uh, troy's number. number uh when i was in eighth grade cool because my usual number nine was not available yeah because the mean basketball girl <laughs> took it <laughs> <laughs> rotten tomatoes 40 to 60 feet okay. did you look it up i thought it was i did wait, wait okay don't look oh, don't, say don't say it don't say it don't, okay. don't say it <laughs> so i always guess so ally knows you know i don't know so i get to try and guess if i get close I, if i get within five i get to feel really smart and then obviously if it's between 40 or 60 percent we get the square so I, oof, boy this one i'm gonna go really high um, I'm going to guess 80. Wow. Uh-oh. Not close for you and not close for us. No. It is 67. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still higher than Still higher. Most. Still higher. Um, and yeah. it, it does have an audience, uh, review, Val, and it has like 250,000 audience. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said we must be heard. I must <laughs> share my opinion. What was the audience rating? It's like 74, 73. Okay. Yeah, so a little bit lower than I was expecting even for audience still. Yeah, mm. seriously. Mm -hmm. But that that feels right, you yeah. know, for TV movie. Like yeah. that that feels right. For sure. Okay. Cool. Uh happily ever after. You bet your sweet butt. Durr. <laughs> <laughs> Almost kissing. A few times. I, yes. And especially the beginning with the New Year's Eve thing. Like yeah. Where, because everyone knows you kiss when it hits midnight yeah. and they're both kind of like, oh, oh. And then like 
Gabby just runs she away. She ran away. <laughs> yeah. So that was definitely like quintessential almost kissing. Yeah. Someone who became famous. All the entire them. cast. <laughs> <laughs> The entire cast. That was the stepping stone. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even Coach Daddy, apparently. Daddy Coach Bart. Daddy Coach Bartman. <laughs> Betraying of one's real friends or values. I, yeah, kind of. Like when Troy says all that stuff yeah. mm-hmm. in the locker room, even though he's lying, he's still betraying then his teammates. For sure. Because right? mm-hmm. he's lying to them. If he were telling the truth, then he'd be betraying Gabby either way. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Not great. And Chad and Taylor of coming up with that plan. Yeah. 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 That's everyone kind of deceived themselves for a moment. Mm -hmm. Right. Your childhood crush. Oh, yeah. Yes. I definitely thought that. uh, All of uh, them. Zach Efron. Yeah. But especially Zach Efron. I thought he was very cute. Zach Efron, Corbin Blue, Jason. Zeke. Um, I don't know if I had a Zeke? Hands on Ryan. So I maybe I felt this way when I first saw this movie. Zeke is maybe the most handsome person. He in this is whole he's movie. so handsome. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> if I would have watched like, that movie when it came out, I would have been in love with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. Like and wow. bakes. And bakes. Right? Baby right? boy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby boy, you say I'm my mind, fulfill my fantasy. <laughs> yes. Yep. Obviously, bad special effects or stunts. Honestly, I didn't see anything. I didn't feel like the basketball was that like, oh, you can tell those are 35 year old men playing. (laughs) You know, no. Yeah. The stand ins were not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And like the only time where obviously it looks kind of stupid is when they're singing. Get your head in the game. But like it's a musical number. Right. It's not meant to look like good basketball. So it's fine. Yeah. Disney Channel star. All of them yeah. became Disney Channel stars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. they all became Disney Channel stars. L. Do musical I- number. <laughs> do you, oh, wait. Do you want to do no, it? No, no, no. Do you want to do no, it? No, 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 no. no, I, no I, I thought it was my turn. We can start over. Okay, ready? No, Al, you've no. waited for this moment, and so I think you should do this one. <laughs> musical number. <laughs> This is actually perfect because then I get to say magic and there is science magic in yes! this movie. And that is why I wore my science, science is the real, real magic, magic t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> okay. We flip flop for a reason. I just got so many goosebumps. <laughs> music and magic. That's yeah. beautiful. Music is magic too. Yeah. <gasps> That's going to be on the back of the next <laughs> <laughs> Someone says the title of the movie. No. No. Val was very, were you paying attention to that? Yeah. Because, you know, obviously. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I, I like probably also because this wasn't supposed to be the Called title. High School Musical, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so they probably said the title of what they maybe thought it would be. Yeah. Ooh, maybe. Yeah. Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. <laughs> Man, now I wish um, this is not my game, but I wish my game was rename High School Musical. Ooh. Oh my god! Um, all right, well, if you uh, listening have any suggestions, put it on our Instagram. <laughs> oh my god, let's do a poll. Yeah. Uh, okay, Scooby Dude. Yes. Yeah. That whole last sequence where they get everyone into the auditorium is very Scooby Dude. Very Scooby Dude. Um, the heroes create the problem. Kind of, kind of, but also yeah. Sharpay creates the problem. Yeah, there's kind of a collective problem creating. Everyone, yeah, everyone kind of is the problem. I feel like it's kind of like a domino. <laughs> like if she didn't run away, if they were comfortable auditioning, like mm-hmm. if right. the, both of them had just gone to the audition and not cared about what my dad says right. about basketball, you know, like it's kind right, of like right, a domino right. effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it counts. Okay, um, lead is a fish out of water. <laughs> Honestly, uh, she Vanessa Hudgens kind of is a fish out of water at the yeah. beginning. She just wants yeah. to read a book. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. And like when she goes to the new school, she has to like learn and she's like, no, I don't. Oh, want that's to more of the fish out of water. Yeah. It's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, everyone, there are three of us and we got three bingos today. Woo! Making up for the last couple of movies because we've had a few bingo less days here at D Commentaries. <laughs> this one like had to get bingo because I feel like There's we no made way this card it. because of this movie. Yeah, I mean, there was only one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six squares that weren't marked. Dang. Yay. All right. Well, you know what time it is. It's time <gasps> for another game. And this game is bum, bum, bum. High school musical song bracket. (laughs) In this game, the three of us are going to rank our six favorite high school musical songs from this movie to then figure out which song reigns supreme. So I need, you can either, um, Put I'm pulling up the pull list up, real quick. Pull up uh your Spotify just so you can take a look um at the album. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take a second. This is gonna be hard. All right. Mine's gonna be hot takes. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, we're gonna go. I think we all list our number six song. So okay. how we're going to do this is so your number six will only get one point. It's like flipped. And then the most points that the songs have in the final bracket is what we've decided upon be- between the three of us. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. So Val, what is your number six song? Get your head in the game. Hot take. And it almost didn't make the list at all. <gasps> wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. All right, Fee, what's your number six song? Bop to the top. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make my list at all. <laughs> all right, my number six song is what I've been looking for, the Ryan and Sharpay version. Ooh. Wow, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told y'all, I'm going to have some hot ass takes. All right, uh, Val, number five song. Start of something new. And okay, Fee, start number of something five song. new. <gasps> All right, yeah. hot take. <laughs> start of something new is not on my list. Wow. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. My number five song is "Get Your Head in the Game." <gasps> mm-hmm. 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 All right, Val, number four song. What I've been looking for, the Ryan and Sharp. Oh, version. hell yeah. <laughs> right. Hot take, the other version didn't make it onto my list. <laughs> no, it's nowhere near. <laughs> like, okay, that is like the Ryan and Sharpay version is much better than the it slow version. It is so much better. I get why better. they sing it, but it's not better. Yeah. Mm. No, it's yeah. not. Okay. It's not. Um, Fee, your number four song. Breaking Free. Oh, Breaking okay. Free. Uh, my number four song is Bop to the Top. Wow. <laughs> and that bopped up to wow. the top. Yeah. And bopped up wow. to the top. Okay. okay. Um, Val, number three song. Breaking Free. Okay. Fee, mm-hmm. number three song. Status Quo. Wow. Okay. Um, my number three song is also Breaking Free. Ooh. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, Val, your number two song. Stick to the status quo. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Fee, your number two song. We got to get our head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and my number two song is Stick to the Status Quo. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it is such a good song. Oh, very it's such good a good song. song. This is not what I want. <laughs> I love the choreography. Like oh my the whole I just love it. Gorgeous. I love when everyone's involved. I'm like, this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Val, your number one song. We are all in this together. It had to be. Fee? We are all in this together. <laughs> Al? We are all, all in this together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. Okay. Well, we know our number one song. Okay. Here we go. Um, let me do some math really quick. Math, math, math. math. Um, so we have okay, so let me let me guess we have like a four-way tie. We do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we really- uh, it's three way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna rank out of three. Your three that you're ranking are Bop to the Top, mm-hmm. What I've Been Looking For, and mm-hmm. Start of Something New. What I've Been Looking For, the Ryan and Sharp. Ryan and Sharp version. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna redo this. Okay. Fee, where what did you rank Bop to the Top? Number one. All right. Wow. Um, Val, what did you rank Bop to the Top? Third. Mm. I ranked Bop to the Top one. Ooh. Wow. All right. Okay. Um, what I've been looking for, Ryan and Sharpay version. Val, what'd you rank it? Number one. All right. Fee? Number three. I ranked it <laughs> number two. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that's a little switch Ooh, up. Okay, there okay, we go. Okay, okay. Um, and Val, what did you rank start of something new? Two. Fee? Two. <gasps> and I ranked it three to give it one point. Okay, so here we go. That exactly solved what we needed. Ooh. Oh, good. Ooh, good for us. We did it. All right. In an honorable mention, not making the top six, our seventh was start of something new. <gasps> wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. In sixth place, we have what I've been looking for, Ryan and Sharpay version. Okay. In fifth place, we have bopped to the top, <laughs> Ryan and Sharpay version. <laughs> Specifically, yeah. In fourth place, we have get your head in the game. You got to get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Third place, we have breaking free. We are soaring, (laughs) flying. But in the number two spot, we are sticking to the status quo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And everyone, as assumed, in the number (laughs) one spot, we're all in this together. together. <laughs> Woo! We did it. <laughs> Everything's happening. Uh, amazing. Thanks for playing. That's fun. <laughs> I love. That was That's, controversial, it, our, controversial, but amicable. Yes, for sure. Oh my gosh. Felicia, you're a dream and a gem. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. And also... I don't think I would have watched High School Musical if it wasn't for you both. So thank you we for introducing really, that to my I, life. We talked. We really wanted someone to watch High School Musical who had like never seen it before, so you could perceive it in a new light. Because we both had seen it before, we really wanted someone who has never seen any of the series. So very, very happy to have you on today. <laughs> yes, you're the best. You're the I best, love y'all. Um, anything you want to plug to the audience? Um, yeah, go watch shows. Support the arts. <laughs> Support podcast. <laughs> Don't you have a podcast? <laughs> I do have <laughs> All podcasts are important. I do have a podcast on learning. We are going to be back with season yeah. two. Ready for unlearning to be back in action. Yeah. We got some more stuff to unlearn. Oh, we yeah. got a, I got a lot to unlearn. Okay. <laughs> Therapy let me know. I was like, oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> all this. All this. But we're in it together. We are. We are. Um, we are. Felicia, where can people find you on the interwebs? Yeah. If Twitter is still up. <laughs> as, of t- <laughs> as of today. <laughs> if you can read that many tweets, because I don't have a blue check mark. It's shorty underscore phi, P-H-Y. On Instagram, I'm laugh underscore with underscore fee. And um, in life, I'm usually on the brown line. <laughs> <laughs> What percentage of your life do you think you spend on that? I'm going to say a good 22%. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's a lot. She that is a lot. sleeps on the brown line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Felicia, you're such a sweet. <laughs> um, Val, what movie are we watching next? Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. Yay! Ooh. Another Disney Channel star. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Brenda. Very excited. Thank you so much for joining us, Felicia. Uh, you are so great. I love y'all. Thank you so and much I'll for having me. And I'll tell you every day. I'll tell you every day. And you know why I'll tell every you every day? Because we work together. <laughs> <laughs> also, just since this comes out early in our run, 
as Al alluded to before, uh, we are directing a improvised decom show that yes. is going up. We, we said it last episode, but we want to repeat it again. Um, if you are in the Chicago area or are going to be in the Chicago area anytime in July or August, if you are free on a Friday, go head to the IO theater and check out improvised decom. Our cast is really fun and it's going to be a really, they're silly really time. incredible. It's going to be really, yeah. they're, it's like crazy. Like both of us just sit there at rehearsals and are like, how, <laughs> How did this happen? They're so good. We scooby doo the <laughs> F out of a cast. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. Yep. They're great. All right. Okay, here I go. I'm going to say it, Val. <laughs> Thank you for preparing me this time. Okay. Bye, Val. <laughs> Bye, Al. Bye, Felicia. Bye. This podcast was produced by me. And me. And it was edited by me. The music was composed by Michael McNally. You can find us online at the tridentnetwork.com slash decommentaries hyphen pod. And you can find us on Instagram and TikTok at decommentaries. Decommentaries is a part of the Trident Network. To learn more about our videos, live shows, and other podcasts, please visit the tridentnetwork.com. Disney Channel Original Movies. Damn it, Allie.